All right, peace of Christ to all. Uh, today I'm broadcasting a new, uh, a new channel. Uh, this is, um, is going to be my official one for those who do not know yet. So it's going to be called the Arabian Prophet. And uh, the name actually uh, is to tell what is my topic is about. Uh, nothing more, nothing less. Uh, so my topic is very simple. All of you, you know. Um, I am interested in what it's called uh, Islam. Um, and this is why actually I named my new channel in a such a name. Now today we have an old topic, even though like we are going to talk about uh, more topics to come. I mean uh, through this uh, broadcast. Uh, but today I'm going to go over some comments about uh, um, uh, the Catholic and Protestant and those funny arguments we see. Actually, for me, I see them uh, kind of sad, not funny that much. Uh, I believe uh, most of the argument people they come with, it's very sad and very stupid. Uh, sorry to say so, I don't mean to insult, but it's very stupid, really very naive. You know, many people, they grow up, by uh, by age, um, they might have a gray hair in their head. They might became eighty and ninety, but still they have they are the same person who was exist, you know, at the age of nineteen, or when he was even a teenage. Uh, in the front of us here, before I start, I'm not in here to defend either the Catholic or the Protestant. Because for me, uh, I believe uh, to be Christian, it has nothing to do with names, is to be with the Messiah. And I believe those names are created by man, and man is not perfect. So those who expect perfection from those churches, you are being a fool. The only true church, which is perfect, is the one established by Christ. So if you accept anyone to be your leader, accept Christ, you are just fooling yourself. If you accept me, me myself, to be your advisor, you are fooling yourself. I'm here to share with you what I believe, but I'm not your advisor. Now we see here, you know, I made a video before, I, I think most of you watch it, uh, about uh, Islamic in the Roman, or Rome, uh, Roman Catholic, uh, Catholic. Now we know that this is a lie and there's no such a thing, and there's no connection between both whatsoever and whoever say that he is just fooling himself in other way uh, you are just fooling yourself by lying to yourself I am not against you to say things which is true but don't be a liar and don't fabricate stories nobody fought Islam as the Catholic and nobody hate the Catholic as much as Muslims uh, you will you see in the side here a picture of the Pope is kissing uh, the Quran and this is what they come with to say there's a connection between Islam and etc I'm not defending that the Pope to do so but in the same movie if you watch it you will see the guy the Pope he gave him the gospel the guy kiss it too so he is being perfectly correct I am against that however the the Pope he is uh, uh, more than like more like a king than a priest. Um, this is a this is a this is a state actually. The Pope is a head of a state. He is a head of a state. And name for me one of your president, you hypocrites, did not do the same. Just name one. So he is a president of a state. I don't agree with him. All right. I believe it's very wrong to kiss the the book of the devil. And we know it's the book of the devil. But as I said, he is being politically correct. He is being a head of a state. So I'm not going to judge the Catholic by the Pope anyway. Uh, because it's not uh, the, the one billion uh, Catholic is the one who vote for him. Uh, there's a group in this organization, if we can call it the organization. And they are the one who elect the Pope. The Pope can be bad, can be good, can be evil, can be a man of God, can be whatever. The same as anyone. 
I will read with you here some of the comments so we can share together the intelligence of some people. And I say the intelligence because really I, I like, uh, I seek always in this discussion intelligence, not only knowledge. But really, really, we find the intelligence in discussion with those people. Uh, CP was supposed to me. Why you are defending Catholicism? First of all, I never defend anyone. And the statement, the statement you are saying alone is being a foolish because I never defend anyone. I just say that anyone who believes Islam have connection with Catholicism is a stupid fool. I'm stating a fact. That is not a defense. Uh, they worship pagan idols and call themselves Christians. Let us go with you here and say that this is uh, somehow true, as you claim. For me, I'm against idols, against the status of Mary, against uh, all kind of things. And I believe this is a very, very wrong thing to do in, in the Catholic Church. I'm totally against it. Uh, but we need to listen to the Catholic when they say what is their excuse. Like as an example, they say God, he order uh, Moses to uh, to uh, build, etc., etc., and to make etc. things. So you know they have their own interpretation. However, I have my different interpretation. Uh, according to my interpretation, this is very wrong. So what we see here, we see people who they are Christians, but they have their own interpretation. I believe it's wrong. They believe it's right. <clears throat> then can we call them pagan? No, because. Uh, the Catholic do not believe that Mary, the status of Mary, is God. It's wrong to pray in front of it, absolutely. It's wrong to touch it. That's very funny and weird. And it's very wrong uh, to walk behind it. So this is always wrong. Uh, so I believe Catholic, a Catholic, you know, they have, let us say, uh, they have a tradition more than... Uh, it looks like people they are joining and the mic is open. Uh, so speaking about speaking about uh, Catholic, we have to be fair. They have wrong interpretation, but doesn't make them not Christians. Because if everyone have wrong interpretation or wrong, wrong practice, let's say, will make him not a Christian, that's mean none of us is a Christian. Because you cannot find <coughs> one, one Christian, he don't have wrong practice, or he don't even commit sin. Like, if you are a Christian, you should not do this, you should not do that, you should not do that, you should not, etc. Uh, and you will find yourself at the end of the day, you are not really practicing Christianity, but we are, we are very fast to judge and we to jump all over the Catholic and cast them out and say they are pagan. Well, if we look in the other churches, we will see how many pagans there is. Most of them, they became churches who worship money. Uh, where, 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 uh, where God became a business. Uh, you know, you invite a minister to, to make a speech in your church, he asks you how much you will pay me before he go. Paganism have many faces, so you have to be fair. So paganism is exist everywhere. Like, we are not Muslims who teach it to be uh, as right because uh, we have a prophet, he said so. But most likely people, they are do me wrong because they are driven by temptation, uh, driven by their own desire, or driven by their own interpretation, let us say. If you go, I don't wanna like I don't wanna show you in videos in YouTube, you can go and search and you will see how many wrong practices exist in all over the churches. Go, people they go uh, wearing a shirt, uh, sorry, a short uh, to the church. Uh, as if it's, we are going to sport a club. 
uh, women, they are wearing very short clothes. As if she is going uh, to, uh, you know, to a golf club or to, to meet her friends, wearing very short clothes and short skirt, etc. Uh, uh, you know, people doing what they should not do. Uh, so every church is, most of the churches, they have wrongdoing. And if everyone do wrongdoing, uh, uh, we cast him out, we say he is no Christian. That means we have no Christians exist. All right? So uh, either we accept that everybody is a sinner, as the Bible say. And even still with his sin, he is a Christian. Or we cast out all the Christians for everybody's sin, and this is me, none of us as a Christian. I think the logic we are using is very simple. Here he continue, they have a long history of burning Bibles and killing Christians. The Pope are high priest of paganism and are the Antichrist. They are uniting a global religion of Satan. Study history and you will see the Vatican created Islam. You know, you, you see, this is what is uh, what is uh, making me laugh. Like, I can accept that in the history of the Catholic Church, they killed Christians. Yes. They, you know, the history has involved with a lot of ugly stuff, very ugly, disgusting. But, you know, why, you know, when we say the Catholic, we are talking about who? That time have its own people, have its own leadership, and they are the one who commit the crime. Those people today, are they the one who is killing you and kidnapping you and burning you, and etc.? So uh, it looked like, you know, you claim to be Christian, but you cannot forgive that uh, yesterday. You claim to be Christian. Remember that those people, they did it wrong. They did what they did wrong, because simply, supposedly they are being fanatic to Christ, not fanatic to themselves, supposedly. So, what they did is a crime, absolutely, disgusting, absolutely. But all of us, we know that through stages or through a period of time, there is many corruption in those churches and depend on the leader. If the leader is an ugly, disgusting, he go to war and he kill and he slaughter, you know, and he use the name of God. And the naive ones is the one who go in the street and run with fire and kill, etc. because the, 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 uh, the, the one who claimed to be speaking in the name of God, he says so. The naive ones, you know, many do not understand that in certain time, even people, they were not allowed even to read the gospel. It was only in the hand of the priest. And that is include, including even in, uh, in, uh, in England, you know. So it was like a, a society of priests who they control everything. And the, 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 the normal people who they are supposedly the followers, the Christians, they have no idea. Uh, they obey blindly, and nobody, you know, it was a very, like, uh, let us say, uh, uh, ugly time, and religion is used by kings for their benefit. And this is uh, the history, always, the bad ones use the good things for bad. So let us say, the bad ones use the good thing, which is the name of Christ, for, for, for bad. What does have to do with the Catholic today? Let us say, for the sake of argument, my dad, he killed your dad 5,000 years ago. We have, we have the children of Adam who kill each other. Let us say, my father is the one who killed your dad. And your father was a child of Adam, and my father is a child of Adam. So they are brothers. Are you going to keep talking about it until now? And condemning me for what my father did? That is not a Christian behavior. You see, today when we speak about Islam, we warn about Islam today, and we use the history to show them that this is what happening today before, because what happened before. Not because somebody have a wrong interpretation. This is the teaching of Islam, and will go forever the same way. It's a religion of violence. So when we speak about the Catholic today, are they attacking Christians, are they burning Christians, are they burning Bibles, as you said, um, this is absolutely false. So obviously, you want to encourage hate between Christians, Protestant, and Christians, Catholic, uh, for, 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 a, for like a culture of hate, 
you know, there's a culture of hate built through history between the Protestant and the Catholic. And this culture of hate will never stop because people like you, they are exist, who keep repeating the same story. Uh, then he say, study the histo history and you will see that Vatican created Islam to kill Christians. Uh, can you show me the history you are talking about? I want to study the history with you. I challenge those people who keep repeating this lie to show me the history they are talking about. Wasn't the crusade is the Catholic? Wasn't it the first letter Muhammad he sent that was to the Catholic saying convert or else? Or let's say, generally speaking, the European at that time. So it's very naive, very stupid, very arrogant, and very hateful. All right? Very hateful. Uh, and suddenly uh, he tell you to read the book of Revelation because the book of Revelation will tell you about the Catholic <laughs> maybe the book of Revelation will talk about you very disgusting and actually I think I think the Messiah is ashamed of people like those who spread hate between the Christians instead of uniting them loving each other what we do, we spread hate between each other. If we go and uh, uh, here, he say a free missionary was created by uh, Jesuit during the time of the King James, etc., etc., etc. So, uh, according to this person, maybe we should go and kill every Catholic. And maybe we should go and have a war with them. And maybe we should spit in their face. And maybe, and all of that, why? Because long time ago, something happened we don't like. They did something bad. Looked like we did not do any bad too. I mean, when, when the Protestant in America, they have what is uh, kind of uh, like very bad discrimination against the Mormon. Isn't it exactly what the, what the Catholic did to you, you did to them? You kick them out. You chase them. For they are a cult. So what we see, we have a hypocrisy. Are we going to say the Protestants are bad people? We should, you know, the, we can go back to the history and we will see that you did the same. You run away from the Catholic, you come to America to build a church of freedom, but when somebody comes with a cult, you chase him and you hang him. So, you know, people are not being fair. Based on your logic, we should condemn the, the Protestant enter today. But the Protestant today don't, uh, don't believe that they should go and hang the Mormon or Jehovah's Witnesses, or many hundreds of cults exist in America. I don't see them doing that. So it's very naive, very stupid talk, very ugly actually, and very satanic, because the whole purpose of this is to keep hate exist. You talk about Lucifer, what do you tell me where is Lucifer in your life? You know, when they ask Jesus how to pray, how to pray, Lord, he said, say like this, our Father art of heaven, and you know the prayer, right? Forgive to us the same as we forgive to others. But obviously, you will never forgive anyone. But yet you claim to be Christian. You are not only forgiving the ones who died a thousand years ago. You are cursing those who live today because of what happened one thousand years ago. And yet you talk about being Christian. You know, when the Messiah was on the cross, the Jews, they were shouting his, his death in our, in, in our hand, his blood in our hand. The Messiah, he responded, he said, forgive them, Father, they do not know what they are doing. That, that is the Messiah. Where are you with this? He was on the cross and he was forgiving them. You are a thousand years after and still you cannot forgive. 
And not only that, you take the crime was done by the father, you cast it thousand years after about the son, who have no idea what you are talking about. That's what I call hypocrisy and stupidity. This is why I say, actually, uh, this kind of debate is kind of stupid, and, and Satan love it, and Muslims love it. Because it's for the benefit to see the Christians, Protestant and Catholic, are divided. It's not for the benefit of Satan to see the Catholic and the Christians, Protestant, are united. Think about it. So I'm just saying simple logic. Who is the one who will have the benefit of this division? Is it Jesus? If you love Jesus, you know the answer. So stop being hypocrite. The Catholic, they have their differences. They are wrong. Don't agree with them. Don't have a status. Absolutely, I agree with you. Don't pray in front of it. That's very funny and very stupid, actually. And I don't care if you are a Catholic or not. You do that, you are being naive. Actually, in a different way, you are being an idiot. But just to show you the hypocrisy of those who claim those things, how come you don't say the same thing about the, the, the Orthodox? The Orthodox, they have pictures. They don't have idols, yes. They don't have, uh, like, statues. But they have pictures. They have icons. And you ask them, they have their own interpretation. They will tell you, well, it's written in the Bible, that's God he ordered to make icons. So, in their interpretation, it's fine. In my interpretation, it's wrong, because simply, icons is fine to make, it's not a problem, but not to pray in front of it. There is no need for that. And God nowhere says that. And you don't you, you can kiss it. Is that, does that mean the Christian Orthodox are false Christians? Absolutely not. They are Christian like you and me, and they love Jesus maybe more than you and me. So, wrong is everywhere. The Protestant churches, they have many wrong. The Catholic, they have many wrong. The Orthodox, they have many wrongs. But if everybody have a wrong, he is no Christian, well, none of you is a Christian then, including me. Because all of us, we are sinners, and all of us, we do wrong. Any person who accepts perfection from a man is a stupid fool. Who is the one? Who, who is, what, is the, what is the Catholic Church? What is the Protestant Church? What is the Orthodox Church? Isn't it a, a church of men and women? Which means it's based on sinners. So why are you accepting perfection from any of them? Why you are seeking perfection from any when you know that the Bible says clearly that all of them are sinners? You must be a foolish man. You know the Messiah he called Peter? He called him Satan. Is that because Peter he was perfect? Are you saying are you now going to say, hey Peter, you are Satan? Because Jesus himself he called him Satan? Are you going to say, let us say, for the sake of argument, let us say Peter he got married and he have he have his own clan until now that they are exist. Let us say there is a city, all of them, they are children of Peter. Are you going to go there and say, hey, you are children of Satan, because Jesus said to Peter, you are a Satan? <laughs> this is the logic you are doing. You are casting evil on those who they are today for an evil done in the past. Evil done by evil men. I don't like really this topic very much. I believe it's very stupid, very naive, and I believe those who, who, who love to argue about it, they are very hateful and they cannot live with the Messiah. You will go to the, you will go to the heaven of God, you think you will go to the heaven of God and you hate the Catholic in your heart? Do you think you are a Catholic, you will go to the heaven of God and you hate the Protestant? Well, I have a good news for you. I don't know how good it is for you. Both of you will not go to heaven if you hate each other. The Messiah, he will not take, take hateful people there. If the Messiah, he said, love your enemy, but you cannot even love the one who loves Christ, what kind of Christians you are? Very dark evil.
like coming from the from the heart of the night. Anyone who divide the Christian. So my message to those who they will watch this video: If you are a Christian, if you are a, if you are a Protestant, if you are whatever, you know, even if you are a Mormon, by the way, like Mormon, you know, Mormon, uh, they I believe uh, Mormonism is a cult, but I believe Mormon people are good people. So are we going to cast stones at them? If you really, if you really a person who follow the Messiah, you love the Mormon, and you try to save them from the cult they have. I met many of those who follow Jehovah's Witnesses. Does that mean they are satanic? Because they are Jehovah's Witnesses? Absolutely not. They are misleaded. Most, maybe 99% of those who they are Jehovah's Witnesses, they are misleaded, but not because they are bad people. They are just misguided. So are we going to cast stones and say uh, Jehovah's Witnesses are, are uh, 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 you know, they are the devil and etc.? They are misled. The Messiah himself, he come to the lost sheep, not for you, if you are the one who is not lost. So according to the Messiah logic, he came for them, not for you, because supposedly you are not lost. Like the one who is talking here, glory, what his name is, glory, bond, whatever. According to you, you are the perfect man who is not lost. I will go with you. So according to the Messiah, he came for the Catholic if the other one is lost. You see how much the Messiah, he loved the Catholic? According to the Messiah, he came to the Mormon because according to you, they are lost. So he came to the Mormon, not to you. You are not lost. So hypocrisy is amazing. Stupidity is wonderful in these days. And the more, you know, like, the more you look like hippie, the more you look like cool. So, he is hippie in everything in his life, but he is not when it's come to certain names. He hate them to death. You see, I do not even, you know, some people, they might think, I hate Muslims. I don't hate Muslims. And I will never hate them. There are people like us, and they are misguided. And there is many of them, they are very good people who want to serve God from their heart. But they are following the wrong one. So what the solution? We kill them? We hate them? No. The solution is to show them the truth. To share the Messiah with them. Not to cast stones and rocks. So those kind of people who love to, to divide I have a warning for you that the Messiah he will not he will not really have you in his heaven. You are misguided, you are false, you are not real. All right? Because when you stand for your false argument, you will be judged by your argument. You are judging one billion or more, saying they are pagan, cult, false, they will go to hell, and you play why like what why you are who who are you to judge them well the, the bible says it clearly don't do this and do don't do that and don't do that right okay so everyone who break the order of god according to you he would go to hell those people they believe in the messiah they worship the messiah they believe in the crucifixion they believe in his resurrection they believe in his coming back they believe in the father the son the holy spirit they believe in even in baptism so let us say they have many things is wrong but they are believers in the Messiah. The Messiah, he said, whoever believes in me and die, he will live. But for sure there's a condition. Not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my Father. You want to come with your interpretation? I will not do interpretation. I will leave that to my, to my Father. He is my judge and your judge. So stop playing God on earth and stop playing the Pope. You know, one day the Pope, he was doing that to you. You are doing today the same. You are playing today what the Pope used to do a thousand years ago. You want to throw people in fire, you want to kill them, you want to etc. You are the same as they are one thousand years ago. You people never change. And I believe your leaders who they are getting the benefit of this division are the one who is teaching you to, to stay this way. They want to teach your children to, to hate the Catholic because division make business, make money. It's not good to see the Christians united. 
You see, if all the Christians are the same, all the churches are the same, who is going to come to my church? Nobody. I'm the same as everybody. There is many that do it for competition. Competition for business, not for God. Money, donation, glory, authority. I am right, they are wrong. My supporter, your supporter. And that will make it exciting. This is why people like boxing, right? Because in, in their heart, they have a lot of evil still. You know, when a human being, he watch a match of, what do you call it, match of boxing? I call it match of stupidity. You ask yourself, what make you go there? You love violence. You love to see people fighting. You love to see people hitting each other. You love to see people hurting each other. Otherwise, I don't see any, any, any uh, explanation. People call it sport. I call it ugly. What about we give them knives and they chop their head? That will make more action. Actually, this is what they used to do before. If the, if the law will allow it, they will do it. So, the madness of a human being is amazing. And every human being, he think he is God. And God gave him the right to throw everybody in hellfire. So, uh, look, look here how, how, uh, how filthy this talk is. Catholicism is the mother of harlots and abomination of the world. If you are going to put down cults, you have to expose Catholicism. The Pope, he head of a false religion. You know, this is very disgusting, very stupid. And you know what? I have a news for you. I don't want to see people like you in my channel. I'm going to ban you. Very disgusting, very ugly, very hateful. Alright? Now here, look at this guy here. CP, who is the Pope? What the purpose does to serve regulars to salvation? First of all, who is, who is the one who said to you that any priest in the world, he can help you for salvation? That's very naive of you. Did the Pope himself say that? The Pope himself, he confessed every Sunday for his sin. They come with false uh, speeches, false argument, funny, dummy, I don't know what to call it. Every Catholic, he confessed to God. You see, when you confess to a priest, you are not confessing to the priest himself. Simply, you are announcing your sin. You are denouncing your sin. You don't want it no more. So somehow, I, I actually, it's a good thing, because that actually even healthy will make you take the stress out of your heart. You know, you want to you share your secrets. So, none of the Catholics believe that the Pope can give you salvation. Some they will say to you, you know, the, the Catholic, they pray to Mary. Well, you idiot, sorry to say the word. What the Catholic, they say, is written in the Bible. When the angels, they came to Mary, they said to her, Hail Mary. That is what the Bible says. That's not on their own. Blessed, blessed thee. They are repeating what the Bible says. I am against anyone to pray to Mary. Because why I want to pray to Mary? I have my Messiah, I have my Lord. Who is Mary anyway? Even the Messiah, he called her woman. He did not call her mother. For a very simple reason. He is the Lord. He is not just a man. So they have their interpretation. They are wrong about that. But still they are not really... You know, when they, when they say, I pray, can you pray for me? I pray for you. When you ask somebody to pray for you, aren't you the same, doing the same as the Catholic? Because the Catholic, they believe, they ask Mary to pray for them, to ask, them, to, to ask the Messiah to help them. But you do the same in, in the other way. You ask somebody to pray for you. Or every, uh, every Christian do that, Protestant, Catholic, uh, uh, any, everybody. Can you pray for me, brother? Well, why you don't pray to the Lord directly if you are against praying to Mary? When they pray to Mary, they are not praying for her as God. They are praying for her that she is the person who is very close to the Messiah. He will listen to her. That's all. So why you, are, why you ask your brother or your church to pray for me? Hey, guys, my wife is sick. Can you pray for her? You do that every day. Well, why you don't pray to the, to the Lord himself directly? You say, okay, if, uh, many prayers can, can do better than one prayer. Thank you very much. 
So many prayer is better than one. So, uh, and look, you know, how, how, uh, how they keep repeating the same stories and the same argument and etc. A lot of hate, a lot of disgusting thing. Uh, very, very naive, very stupid. Uh, uh, you know, it makes me lose respect really for people who, it doesn't matter what the church you belong to. If you are a Catholic or a Protestant, you speak this way. For me, you are no Christian. A Christian is someone who loves everybody. If you cannot love the one who loved Jesus, but yet you, cl you claim to be a Christian, how you can't be a Christian? The Catholic, they love Jesus, me, like me and you, and even maybe more. There is some of them, they put nails in the, in, the, in the Easter, in their hands and their feet. This is how much love they have to Jesus. I don't agree with it, but this is mean they have a lot of love. They crucify themselves like Jesus. Can you do that? Then you cast them. You say they are going to go to hell because they are doing. You know they are not. They are following the Pope. Very naive, and smart, and far away from the truth. Uh, all Christians we share one thing, and that thing is amazing. That is the love of the Messiah. That is the love of the Messiah. So, if you are a Protestant or a Catholic or Orthodox, you need to remember one thing. That all those names, they have one Lord. You have different interpretation, but you have one person to follow. If people have wrong interpretation, that will not be wrong, by the way. I will, I will tell you why. Uh, everyone have interpretation based on proofs he have. But the problem if we have a wrong interpretation in the major thing, as an example, do the Catholic believe in the Messiah as God? Yes. Do the Orthodox believe in the Messiah as God? Yes. Do the Protestant believe in the Messiah as God? Yes. Okay. Do the Orthodox, the Catholic, the Protestant believe in the Messiah crucifixion? Yes. Do they believe all of them in the resurrection? Yes. Do they believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit? Yes. Do they believe in the coming back of the Messiah? Yes. All of them believe in the virgin birth of Mary? Yes. All of them believe that Messiah was no sinner? Yes. All of them believe that everybody baptized by water, I mean like John the Baptist, but the Messiah he baptized by the, the Spirit and the water? Yes. So what is missing here? All of this yes? And we have a problem over a picture. And we have a problem about somebody uh, 1,000 years ago, he made a war and he killed many people. So we need to be smart, intelligent. Otherwise, you are putting yourself inside, a, inside a, like, a, let's say, a, 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 a cappuccino cup. And you want to say to yourself, nobody drink me, you know, but you are not tasty. If you want to be really a follower of Christ, you have to be tasty. And tasty means that you are good in the mouth of everybody, which means you teach love. If somebody he is a follower of Christ and he has wrong interpretation, you correct him. You don't say to him, you are pagan, you are a harlot, you are... Rah, 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 rah. Like, come on, this is disgusting, hateful you know, uh, 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 talk. You are far away from Christ. So either we want to be part of it, or we want to be part of the vision, which means part of uniting the Church of Christ, or part of those who love to divide. Look, all of this, all of this hate is about uh, attacking the Catholic, and the, uh, very, very disgusting, you know. Uh, here, there is a Catholic answer. Here says, "You said we follow, like, uh, we, we follow the Jesus supposedly. Uh, we follow Jesus alone, not the Pope. You respect your church head pastors. Does it mean you follow your pastor? That's a good answer. My pastor, he might be corrupt. Me myself, I might be corrupt. 
Let us say I'm a priest. And there's millions of people they believe I am a good guy, but inside the door I am not. Is that their fault? Seriously, is that their fault? No. The body of Christ is a spirit. The body of Jesus Christ is a spirit. Lead living organism, not a man directed organization. Uh, you see here, man directed organization. Well, every church, if you want, is an organization, and even they have a license and they have a name and they pay tax. Go to any church you want, and you will see at the end of it, most, mostly it says INC or incorporation, something like this. I don't know. <laughs> So we do not know how we can sweet you. So let us make to make it simple. Those who divide the Christians are evil, and they are no Christians. And I, I, you know, I asked you, I asked you to repent. It doesn't matter if you are a Catholic, if you are a Protestant, if you are Orthodox. You are following the devil. You are following no Christ. If you are a true Christian, you should love your brother in Christ, the one who will worship the Messiah. He worshiped the Messiah. He don't worship the devil. He loved the Messiah. His hope is only in the Messiah. So shame on you. Very disgusting people. Now we go and we see, you know, we will see a reflection of this. We go to the Quran chapter 5 verse 14. You will see the Quran, he have a plan and he will use people like this guy who spread hate between the Catholic and the Protestant. Let us see the plan of Allah for the Christians. The plan of Allah for the Christians is to spread hate and enmity. One to each other. So thank you very much for working for Allah. Whoever you are, you are a Protestant, you are a Catholic, you are a satanic man. When you do, divide the Christians. I will not call somebody he argue with other church over scriptures to correct them. I will not. I will not call him satanic. That is not division. That's correction. I tell you what I share. I share with you my with my love. What I believe is right. The right understanding. But I don't cast you out. For a very simple reason. First, I have no right to do so. I'm not the Messiah. I don't play God. I am not God on earth. I am a sinner like you. I am not perfect. How the, how the imperfect will give you a perfect answer? How the imperfect is going to give you a, a, a perfect solution? Very naive thought, very naive, uh, uh, you know. Let us say, guys, the Bible is, the Bible is given, uh, let, we can take a verse from the book of Revelation. And then we give this verse to a farmer. Forget, we do, not, we do not need the Pope, right? We do not need the priest, we do not need pastor, we do not need those names. We give this verse to a farmer. What the farmer will understand about this verse is going to be different from what you understood. Does that mean we cast him with rocks? Does that mean we call him a stupid fool? Does that mean he's satanic? God speaks to people in his way, it doesn't matter who they are. Pray to God that he will show them what is right and what's wrong. Do your best as a brother who help to explain, to educate, to teach, not to cast stones. So those who cast stones, they will end in nowhere. They themselves, they will be cast by stones too. Now, we will go to a different topic. I think this is enough for me. Uh, lately, we saw in, uh, in Europe, there is an organization, it's called uh, Begeda. I'm not sure if I'm saying the, wrong, the, the name correctly. They have a big protest against the Islamic existence in Europe. Now, those who speak about uh, what they call Islamophobia, they, they love to go into this topic and speak about it. 
and they will consider everyone there is an Islamophobic. So, uh, uh, my coming topic is about the Islamophobic, Islamophobia. The Islamophobia uh, is it created by the left, not by the Muslims, by the way. The Muslims, they love it, they sponsor it, and they spread it. So, if you are a person who speaks against Islam right away, they dress you with the word Islamophobic. Now, let us think about this Islamophobic thing. How somebody will be an Islamophobic? Phobia simply is about you have a fear from something not real. You know, it's like kind, kind of uh, mental illness. So, you are afraid of something you consider it's very risky, dangerous, you fear for your life with it, but it's not real. So, let us think about it. Is the fear of life have a connection with Islam? I mean, should you really worry about your life when you hear the word Islam? If the answer is yes, it means the Islamophobia is a fabrication, it's a lie, it's a propaganda made by the left, and the funny, the left, they suffer lately badly from Islam. Like uh, what uh, this newspaper in France, aren't they, aren't they the one who slaughtered and they are left? The same newspaper, they make fun of Jesus. The same organization, uh, is, you know, slaughtered by the Muslims. The same organization who make cartoon about Christianity. So, should someone who work as a journalist be, have a phobia? I mean, do he have a reason to have a real fear or it's a phobia? If he, if he draw a cartoon about Muhammad as an example. Let us say I'm a journalist and I decide to make a little uh, two lines in the in the in my newspaper says Muhammad is a false prophet. Should I be worried about my life? If the answer is yes, it's mean the word phobia is a fabrication. If the answer is no, it's mean phobia is absolutely truthful. You have you have no reason to be fearing for your life. So you need to learn that when somebody speaks about phobia, he is trying to fool you. Actually, the ones who have phobia are the Muslims. If you eat pork, they get insulted. If you play music, you get insulted. If you swim in the beach, they get insulted. If you make a cartoon, they get insulted. Even they have a fatwa to kill Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse, cartoon, never spoke about Muhammad. Is he Mickey Mouse? They want to kill cartoon. The Muslims, they pray to Allah five times a day. And the first thing they do in the morning is to curse the Christians and the Jews. The first thing before even they, they eat. Before they say good morning to their wives. Who is the one who has the phobia? If we have the cross, you will see a Muslim, he go to a Christian hospital. Christian hospital. And he get offended from a cross. So you are coming to a Christian hospital. So do you see you see those Christian naive, they take the cross for him so they will not offend him. If I am there, I will say to him, you know what, you don't like it, leave. They come to your country and they force you to change for them. Who is the one who have the phobia? There is many cities in Europe, they cancel festivals because the festivals they are offensive to Muslims. Who is the one who have the phobia? Why? Because they serve pork. Why? Because they serve uh, wine. So, we don't see honesty there, the phobia, the one who have a phobia is the Muslim. They are the one who kidnap us and kill us and chop our head, and yet we are the one who is accused by the phobia. It's a very disgusting illness we have in the media today, that nobody want to say the truth. And, and the, what happened today actually always remind me of the story of the naked king. You know the naked king? When I like to mention this story always, actually, because it's very truthful about what we have today. When the tailor he he made a he made a dress to the king and he told him only strip it, 
hateful people who hate you will see that you are naked. And because the king himself is a hypocrite, he did not dare to say, I am naked. So today we have leaders, we have people who speak about the freedom day and night, people, people who claim to be leaders of democracy, but none of them dare to say, Islam is naked. Nobody want to say that. So, the, the reason, by the way, today we don't have many listeners here because this is a new channel, so I hope people will subscribe. Uh, today, this is my first video in this channel. It's called The Arabian Prophet. All right? Uh, so, please inform your friends and subscribe to it. Uh, yes, I can see the chat, and I see that we have with us an ex-Muslim. I'm so happy for you. That's your left Islam. Uh, and this is why I say we should love Muslims, you know, because the one who was going after you yesterday, he might be Paul tomorrow. Paul himself one day used to go after the Christians. And this has reminded me to go back, actually, uh, when we speak about the Catholic. You know, if, if, if Paul, let us say Paul, if the Catholic once they did kill Christians, as that guy spoke about the Catholic, well, Paul, he was doing the same. Ah, maybe we should cast Paul out. He was an evil man. Uh, Paul was not a Christian. Right? So, we should say Paul is not a good guy. Paul is a bad person. And Paul is uh, a, a person who, uh, 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 you know, uh, you know, he don't, he don't present Christianity. Because simply he was, he was going after the Christians. He was not really being a good Christian, according to, to the logic we, you know, uh, we see. Uh, uh, by the way, some people, they are joining the program with us. Please be sure that your camera is closed, all right? Uh, I don't know how to change the setup of this, but for some reason, some people, their camera is on, all right? So we need to remember that if we want to judge the Catholic for what they did in the past, then we should judge Paul. And we should judge every one of those apostles who they are sinners, and they did commit sin. We go back to the phobia. Um, I'm not sure how I can close this option. Uh, maybe in the sitting. Um, not sure. Okay, I think I see it here. As a guest, join and hide their audio and video. All right, here we go. I found it. Thank you. All right, now it is hided. Uh, so when they speak about the phobia, you need to ask yourself, do we have a reason to worry from what is called Islam? You know, yesterday I have, I have a Muslim in my chat room, he said, well, how many Muslims do support ISIS? How many Muslims do support ISIS? My answer is every Muslim. Because ISIS is not what you think. ISIS is not what is in Syria. ISIS is establishing the Islamic State, and this is a dream of every Muslim. ISIS is not a new dream. ISIS is something Muhammad established, and every Muslim, he want to have it. So, ISIS means Islamic State, by the way. So, what ISIS mean? Islamic State. Ask any Muslim, do you want to have an Islamic State? Do you want to establish Sharia law? Do you want to see a woman stoned if she commit adultery? Do you want to see a man, his head is chopped if he leave Islam? Do you want to see uh, a hand is cut it off if he steal an egg? He will say yes. That is ISIS. ISIS is not al-Baghdadi. ISIS is not 
uh, a group of fighters. They call themselves ISIS. ISIS is Islam. So when somebody tried to fool you and say, you know what, uh, not everybody is ISIS, and that not everybody, uh, uh, you know, he support ISIS. Uh, he is just being a hypocrite. He is just being uh, a false person, or he is being an ignorant because he do not know. And most of people who speak about knowing is the one who do not know. This is what I notice. The more you hear them speaking about I know, the more you should know that they do not know. Uh, I saw a video made by ISIS, actually not by ISIS, sorry, by the modern Muslim, moderate Muslims. And those videos speak about what? They speak that uh, 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 ISIS are not Muslims because when they went to a Christian town in Syria, they did not kill all the Christians. And they say the reason they should kill them, kill those Christians, because they have pictures of supposedly Mary. So that would make them pagan. So we should kill them. Those are the moderate Muslims. They are saying we should, if ISIS are reading, they are, they are trying to put ISIS down, by the way, by saying if ISIS is true Christian, true, true Muslims, then how come they did not kill the Christians in that city? They forced them only to pay jizya. This is the moderate. The moderate opinion of Islam is if ISIS is a true Muslims, they should kill the Christians when they enter a city. If you go in the, you know, this is a website of the Dean Show. I think more of most of you, you know, I called them many times before, but they hang up on me. They don't dare to answer me. Uh, you will see that uh, Muslims, they have, they, 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 they always launch a propaganda. Uh, like here, as an example, Billy Clinton praising, Billy Clinton praising <laughs> Muslims. Billy Clinton praising Muslims who saved the Christians. Well, Billy Clinton, is he condemning Muslims who killed the Christians? How many Christians you saved Muslims and how many Christians you killed? Is it allowed in Islam to save the Christians? Can Billy Clinton condemn Muhammad for killing the Christians? Like when the Quran say, I'm going to spread the hate between the Christians and the Jews. And when the Quran says, I'm going to kill the Christians, can we condemn those who kill the Christians then? Which means, can Billy Clinton condemn the Quran? So obviously, they take what Billy Clinton say because he is a left-minded man. He have the propaganda of politically correct. And Billy Clinton, he knows how much filthy Islam is, but yet he stood, he took a war, he took a side, side fighting side by side with Al-Qaeda and Al-Bosnia, killing a lot of Christians, just to help the Muslims to establish Islamic State. So we know who is Billy Clinton anyway. But when Billy Clinton, he says, I praise those who saved the Christians, where? Like where? In Syria, in Iraq, in Pakistan, in Africa, in Libya, where? In Somalia, where the Muslims are saving the Christians? Can I see it? When the Quran says, fight those who do not believe in Allah from the Christians and the Jews. All those verses in the front of you. Then you say to me, I praise those who save the Christians. Uh, are they saving the Christians according to the Quran? Where? What do you mean save the Christians? Chapter 9, verse number 29. There are some of, of, uh, of the propaganda of Muhammad. Let us make it a little big. And let us show you the racism, not only the evil teaching. Let us show you the racism. 
all you believe, uh, truly the pagans are any clean. Actually, the word in Arabic is najis. Najis means not only clean, najis means you are filthy. Filthy, disgusting. So all you believe, those who they are the pagans, and the pagans, by the way, the kuffar, all right? al mushrikeen according to the Muslims, the mushrikeen is the Christians and the Jews. They are unclean. Can Billy Clinton say that if you are not, uh, let us say, is it acceptable by Billy Clinton, the one who prays Muslims, to say that certain people of people, like kind of people, if they are from certain group of religion, they are unclean? Do he dare to say so? No. Can he condemn it? No. Can those who they are in the White House and those who they are in the Congress today in USA or in Europe say that saying such a thing is very racist and ugly and hateful? Like imagine I say, let us say I'm a black man, I say you are a white man, you are unclean because you are a white man. Or imagine I say the opposite, I am a white man, you are a black man, so you are unclean. Or let us say, I say to someone who is Jehovah's Witnesses, oh you are disgusting and unclean because you are Jehovah's Witnesses. Or because you are a Mormon. And not only this, I for, for, you know, forbid them from entering a Zoom line, which means no go Zoom. Many enter now from those hypocrites do not know that Muslims, they practice no go Zoom. It is in chapter 9, verse 28. Until now, we cannot go to Mecca. Why? Because we are unclean. No go Zoom. The funny, the Muslim, they say to you, do you know in South Africa they used to separate between the white and the black? When the fact they practiced this since 1400 years ago. Actually, not only in the, around Mecca, Muhammad forbid. Muhammad says, in the Arabian Peninsula, no two religion will be exist. So if the Saudi, they want to practice really the Islamic teaching, they should not allow any Christian to be there, but because they cannot build their country without us. So we are there not because they like us. Because their, their citizen is, is a skillless. They have no skills. They cannot build a manufacturer. They do not know how to make a house. They do not know how to run electricity. They do not know how to run water. They do not know how to do anything. The whole country is run by foreigners. So. The foreigners are there, which means the non-Muslims are there, not because they like you to be there, but because they have no choice. Do you know that in Saudi Arabia, if you die, you cannot be buried there if you are not a Muslim? You can work there, but you cannot die there? Is Billy Clinton going to condemn it? Imagine we say in America, we make a law, says, you cannot bury a Muslim here. They are any clean and disgusting. Imagine. That is Islam. Who is the one have a phobia here? They are they have a phobia even from your dead body. Even when you are dead, they are afraid from you. You are dead. What you are going to do? They preach the gospel? Why they cannot bury you? You can go right now, by the way, if you don't believe me, and search in Google. You can work in Saudi Arabia, but you cannot die there. <laughs> I'm not making things up. You will not even find one grave for non-Muslim in Saudi Arabia. Not even one. And the reason is, you are unclean, as we showed you in the verse in the front of you. So, we know what we see here, we see uh, people with dishonesty, fabrication, lies, uh, no dignity, and the Muslims, for sure, they will like, uh, they will like people like Billy Clinton and those left-minded people because they, they use them for their propaganda. Billy Clinton saying that uh, uh, he prays Muslims who save Christians. Where, where are you saving them?
Another uh, headline in uh, Mufti Mink on ISIS is extremist. Extreme, like Muslims are, no, ISIS are extremist. They will give you a Mufti saying ISIS is extremist. If we go, if we go to the uh, to Sunnah.com, like why ISIS are extremist? Let us ask the question: Why ISIS are extremist? Uh, is that because they are they burn people? Well, I will show you that all the companion, most of them. They burn people alive. Even the Prophet of Islam, he not only he, you know, he, he burned the trees, even trees he burned it. You can see it in front of your eyes. But let us go for burning people. All right. Let us see where is the hadith. Just to show you. Here we go. Uh, where is this one? Yeah, the problem with those, here we go, here we go, read with me. And this is a Sahih Hadith, so the Muslim will not say this is a fake, fabricated. Ali burned some people, Ali what did? What Ali did? He burned some people, who is Ali? The first believer in Islam as a child. He is the cousin of Muhammad, his son-in-law, and a Khalifa. So this is not just a man, this is one, even the Shia, they worship him. Ali burned some people who apostates from Islam. What is the crime? They apostate. So it's a, it's a practice, and a practice already. Ibn Abbas says that I heard the Prophet saying don't punish people by the, the, the punishment of Allah, but actually there's a verse there, a hadith, says that the Prophet himself, he ordered the Muslims to go and burn some people. And later he said to himself, you know what, I don't do it this way, this is the punishment of Allah. So the first one who come with the idea of burning people, it was Muhammad. And for any reason you can burn them, not necessarily for leaving Islam. Alright? What about cutting hands? What about slaughtering? What about uh, 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 Arabian women? What about etc.? It's endless. So when somebody says to us, ISIS are extreme, like you know, you, you hear always, even Christian ministries, to be perfectly correct, they say the extremist Muslims. There is nothing that's called extremist Muslims. Either you are a Muslim or you are not. There is nothing that's called extremist Christian. Either you are a Christian or you are not. Extremist is not is, is a fabrication. What extremist Christian? Now somebody will say to you, uh, the KKK they are extremist Christian. This is false. The extremist Christian is someone who follow the gospel. They follow the teaching of Jesus. He walk his steps. And those people they have no connection to Christianity. So when somebody says to me an extremist Muslim. What he mean exactly? That mean he follow Muhammad step by step? Well, thank you very much. So you have to condemn Muhammad for he is the first criminal. All right? If ISIS, they come to your town, and they start burning everything. Burning your trees, burning your houses, burning everything. Is that extreme?
No. The Muslims and their prophet, they have a history. When they attack a place, they destroy it, they burn it, they kill the men, they enslave the children. And if a child, he is having little hair around his private part, they chop his head. This is what a child means. If you don't have hair there, you are a child. If you have hair around that area, which means if you are, you know, because hair will start to grow maybe in the age of uh, nine. So if you are nine years old and, and ten years old, you are dead. And they cut your trees and they destroy your houses and they burn, burn them in the top of you and they take whatever they can carry with them as a reward, as a theft, as a booty. So when they say to us, ISIS is, a, is a extreme, they are just for you. And you know, uh, in, the, in the media today, uh, it's very popular that the more you lie, the more you are popular too. Which means the more you are politically correct, the more people listen to you. This is why you see people like uh, James White, he's invited by Muslims to their mosque. You think Muslims will invite me ever to their mosque? No way. The second you see Muslims inviting a Christian to their mosque, it means there's something wrong with him. There is no way a Muslim will invite you. Guys, you don't see my screen? You don't see my uh, screen? There is no screen. No? I don't know why. Okay, let's do it again. That's weird. All right. All right, do you see it now? All right, so I'm good. Well, thank you for telling me. I'm glad that the chat is working so you guys, you can warn me. Uh, sometime I don't know why it, uh, this has happened. So you see here the hadith in the front of you. How they burn churches, uh, uh, like uh, this is that this is they attack the Jews, and they uh, they killed everybody, they burned their houses, they cut even the tree. Why you want to cut the tree? Why you want to cut the trees? Like people, they are dead. You cut the trees for what? Like, are you revenging from trees? Is the trees are Jews too? It's not even smart. Seriously, it's not even smart. Like those people are living in the desert. Leave the tree so if somebody walk by, he can sleep under it. Tree can provide, this is palm trees, they can provide food. But they want to be sure the destruction so nobody can live here again. It was thy by permission of Allah an order to disgrace the one who is rebellious. So what what is the what, who is the one who ordered to do to do this? That's Allah. A Muslim when he burn your house, he is doing the order of Allah. He is not doing his own order. Now yesterday we were talking about <coughs> some funny stuff. We will change topic now, just to share some. Uh, we will change the mood, like you know, we don't talk about killing and death, etc. So let us talk about something funny. But there's a lot of funny stuff uh, in the hadith, but people do not know how to find it. If you want to enter the mall. Listen carefully. I, I think you guys you go do shopping, right? I have a solution for you to get reward from Allah. The Messenger of Allah said, Whoever entered the marketplace, which means the mall, and says, There is none worthy of worship except Allah, and alone, without partner, to him belong the dominion, and uh, to him all uh, the praise. Okay, this is Borat talking, Mr. Borat. He gives life, etc. Then, if you do that, if you say this, I'm not going to say it all. It's very funny, stupid. All right. Look what Allah will do to you. 
Allah shall record a million good deeds for him and wipe a million evil deeds from him. Is it beautiful, brother? <laughs> Lord have mercy. Uh, let me go back here. Uh, so, the second you enter the mall and you say, uh, 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 Praise be to Allah, la 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 Allah will drop in your bank account 1 million pesos credit which is uh, pesos in here is, is equal to deeds in the same time he will take off from your bad deeds 1 million pesos which means you have total of 2 million pesos brother all of this just because you say la la ha la 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 You know what I'm saying? All of this will happen just because I say la ha la ha hu ha hi ha hu, Allahu la akbar, Allahu shalahu. One million deed in my account, and million deed will go taken. Bad deeds will be taken off. Let us think about this, guys. If I every year, how many how many bad deeds I will do in a year? There is no way I would do one million bad deeds. Let us say I did. All what I do, I go to the mall tomorrow. I say la ha la ha hu hu ha ha hi ha hu hu and then Allah will put in my account one million deeds it's very logical isn't it I do not need to pray I do not need to go Hajj I do not need, even need to do Jihad because here we go one million is gone and he add me one million good deeds so, all what I need to do, I go, what if I work in the mall every day? Man, I go in the mall every day, I work there. I'm going to find a job in the mall. Each time I want to enter, I will make two million good deeds. One minus, one plus. You see the intelligence of this religion? It's a super intelligent religion, seriously. Uh, maybe I should share the link on the, uh, sorry here, on the chat so people can see it. All right. Uh, if we go to different hadith. This is an, another, another amazing, uh, amazing story here. Look at this story here. Read with me. I heard Anas bin Malik saying, I heard Messenger of Allah, etc., standing guard, the one who stand guard on uh, uh, one night in the case and the cause of Allah, which means to guard the Muslims, is better than fasting and praying among his family for a thousand years and the year is equal and the year is 360 days hold on so and a day is the like of 1000 a thousand year let us do the calculation here if you do guard the Muslims, Allah will give you a reward for one night equal to 1,000 years of a prayer and fasting. Hold on, that's not all. Each day of those years, all right, the year have 360 days, right? But each day of them is equal to a thousand year. That's very complicated now. 
because now we have a 360 and by the way why 360 days I thought 365 ah, okay because the moon actually even 360 is wrong because the, the, the lunar uh, the lunar story is different so if we have a calculator here I uh, know I'm not good at reading mathematics that much but let us see how how, uh, how it's going to end uh, if we have uh, 360 days x 1000 that will be 360,000 years all right and then uh, Each one of those years, like you know, those 360 years will be added to you as if you are praying even better than praying for 360,000 years of your life. Isn't it amazing? Just for guarding one night, you go join ISIS right now, stand there for one night at night to guard them, guard Al Khalifa Baghdadi when he's having sex with the with the, the women they kidnapped from the Yazidi, guard him one night, Allah will give you 360,000 years reward. That's really fantastic. Isn't it? Let us see something else. <clears throat> Uh, there's tons of stories actually let us see all right look at this one here I heard Allah messenger may peace be upon him actually by the way in Arabic never say may peace be upon him this is a fabrication in Arabic they say sallallahu alayhi wa sallam which means Allah pray on him and salute him there's nothing called pray uh, uh, like uh, peace upon him you see it in Arabic you see it here, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. <clears throat> this is not peace upon him. It's one of the Muslim lies. This is why I say always, don't ever trust a Muslim saying something to you about his religion. <coughs> I heard Allah Messenger, Allah pray on him, salute him, because Allah worked for Muhammad. This is why he pray on him and he salute him. I didn't know Allah, he pray to who? A saying, Allah ordained the measure of uh, 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 like quality, uh, of the creation 50,000 years before he created the heaven and the earth and his throne was upon the water hold on really hold on Allah created your fate all of you 50,000 years before your creation not only your creation before even he created the heaven and the earth You know, remember there's a story, a hadith where uh, where Adam and Moses they debate, and Moses he said to Adam, "Oh, uh, Adam, because of you we are not in heaven." So Adam he said to him, "Oh, don't you see that it's written in my in my fate before my before Allah create create me?" And it said there it says forty years actually. Here it says fifty thousand years. This is how false Muhammad is. Each time he says something, he contradicts himself. There's a huge difference between forty years before my creation and 50,000 years before my creation. So here, uh, it is 50,000 years Allah, he wrote your, your destiny. And Muslims, for those who do not know, they believe in destiny, which means when you die, uh, uh, I mean, it's not really what you did in your life, what will happen to you, like to go to heaven, to go to hell, no. It is your destiny. So if your destiny uh, to go to heaven, you will go to heaven. Actually, I can show you the, the hadith about that. However, here, let's see this. As And here, there's the, something the funny about this, additional to this, that his, his throne was upon the water. Hold on. So there was no heaven, there was no earth, but the throne of Allah was upon the water. Where is the water? What do you mean upon the water? There is no earth, and there is no heaven, 
but yet Allah's throne is upon the water. Which water? There's water in the space and Allah is flying on top of it. Because it says here clearly, before he created the heavens and the earth. All right. Well, just, you know, just to teach you how to find things, by the way. Uh, when you see it in the screen, just, you see what I highlighted? For those in the chat to find anything, it's highlighted. Just say, go to sunnah.com, search, as his throne was upon the water. Or search in Google, as his throne was upon the water. Or search uh, of his creation 50,000 years. And actually, this is how I, you know, for me, I found the hadith fast. Um, it's very hard to memorize all the numbers, especially those numbers have nothing to do by the real numbers, by the way. Those numbers are not real. You see, those are English ones. Those are not the real numbers. The real numbers are different. However, how you can memorize thousands and thousands of, uh, of hadith by numbers, even by, by uh, location. So what I do, I remember the hadith in Arabic, and it's in my head. So I, the fastest way to find it is just to type a sentence of it, and then you will find it. Um, and you will see the same hadith is here too. Allah created the measure, the, the measures, fifty thousand years before He created the heaven and the earth. And here, uh, let us see another hadith. And the funny about you know Muslim translation, by the way. Uh, that the hadith in Arabic will be very long, but in English will become very short. How? Why? We do not know. Especially sometimes the hadith is very embarrassing, so the Muslim they short it. All right. All those hadith actually speaking about the same. All right. You see, all of them they are saying the same, same story. <coughs> Look at this hadith here. This one is a different story. This is kind of... Uh, uh, by the way, the, the Muslim, they say to you usually, they say there's a hadith, is da'if. You see the word da'if here? Da'if, all right, which means weak, weak hadith. You can go right now and search in YouTube for uh, uh, Imam Hamza. Imam Hamza is a very well-known Muslim. He teaches in the TV and, you know, he, he made a speech about it just to show you the hypocrisy of Muslims. When the Muslim they say da'if, da'if means it pass, it pass, it's accepted, it's a good hadith. Uh, you know, the Muslim they divide it to grades, which means it's not good as a grade, but it's pass, it pass, it's not, it's not bad. This is why it's there. A hadith is da'if, it's mean, like, the hadith have a grade, like, as he explained, he said, I'm using his terms. He said there's hadith have A, B, C, D. So he said, let us say that the, uh, uh, this hadith is D. Still it pass. We cannot throw it out. It is the hadith of the Prophet. We cannot deny it. And we don't have enough proofs to confirm how much accurate it is. But we cannot throw it away. This is what da'if mean. So it pass. It is accepted. Even though it is da'if, as they say there. So don't make the Muslim fool you when they say it's weak. Weak does not mean it's bad. All right? Uh, now, let's see if there is any questions here. All right, I, you know, uh, today I just I wanted to uh, to start my channel here in, uh, in the new channel. Uh, maybe we'll continue maybe later, maybe at night. Uh, uh, please inform your your friends about this new channel of mine. It's called the Arabian Prophet. This will be an official one. All right, uh, and I hope soon we will have all those who subscribe in the other channels come in here and be part of this. And actually, I'm looking right now for more, uh, um, let us say, uh, to, to
to do better regarding serving uh, Christians and Muslims to share the truth and use your, your mind and use your logic. When you say, I want to be a Muslim, you need better, you better to understand what Islam is about. When you say, I am a Christian, you better understand what Christianity is about. So what we try to do here, I'm not here really to make fun of Muslims, I'm here to make fun of stupidity. All right? Yeah, this is, will be an official one. This is, will be an official one, all right? So uh, later I will stop making videos in the other ones, and this will be my official. Uh, the reason I decide to make this official one is very simple. Uh, you know, I think it's time to uh, uh, to have an official one. Like one is because we keep moving from one to one, one to one, which means in this channel, if anyone try to take it down, I will fight it by law. Before I used to let it go. You know, somebody says he make a claim, etc. I let it go. All right. Uh, uh, all right, then I will uh, uh, give me just five minutes after I hang up. Uh, you have you have my uh, you have my uh, uh, Skype. <coughs> all right, so uh, we will go to Skype after. Just give me five minutes, and I will be there. However, if you have a question for me, you can ask it right now. If you have something about the debate, no problem. All right, because it's good to share with others about uh, about facts. You know, to, to share more knowledge. I will try later to open. You know, uh, our podcast in the same channel, but we have to inform the others about it. This is why we have only few people here uh, today because nobody knows really about about yet about this channel. You know, just I post it on Facebook. Uh, yeah, I will be in Pal Talk later. So if you want to talk to me in Pal Talk, which one do you want to talk? Pal Talk? Let us do, let us, uh, I, I thought this is. Uh, oh, okay. So, uh, uh, Zan, we will be, I will be in, Pal Talk, in uh, Skype after five minutes from now. All right? Just give me five minutes. I will make some tea. Thank you guys for being here. Please share this channel. It's called The Arabian Prophet. You will find the link later. I will post it in, uh, in Facebook. You can share it with everybody of your friends. God bless, and thank you very much.